Hello, my friends. Peace, shalom, salam, aloha, namaste, blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today I wanted to welcome my children, Eliza and Edgar. They are going to help me today with my message. So we are talking about welcoming. When you let someone into your home, you welcome them. When you let someone join your table, you welcome them. When someone new comes into your school, the best thing you can do is welcome them. Welcoming is a warm greeting that invites people in. I remember in fourth grade, a kid came to visit my school and he sat next to me for the day. I was very shy at the time, but I was nice to him and I welcomed him. I said hello, I used his name and told him mine, I shared my pencils and paper with him. He joined our school the following year but was put in a different class than me, so we barely saw each other. It didn't matter though, he and I rem uh, remembered each other from that one day the year before and we became friends. And 40 years later, we still are close friends to this day. At our church, we have a wonderful greeting over our door. It's the same greeting used by churches like ours all over this country. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. Isn't that a beautiful phrase? It feels good to say and it feels good to hear. There are many times in life when we might get caught in the rain or stuck in the cold or we're hungry or have to use the bathroom and we need to look for a place that's warm and safe to duck into. It can be scary, stressful, or sad when you can't find some place like that. Maybe you are in the woods and there are no buildings around at all or maybe you see one up ahead but you don't know if you're allowed in. Sometimes asking permission to be let inside is the hardest part. But isn't it amazing when the door is open, the light is on, someone is standing there saying, Come in, get out of the rain, you are welcome. Those can be magical words to someone who is lonely in a time of need. Now think for a moment about what it means to go through life as someone who is different than everybody else around you. Nothing is wrong with you, but something is different. Maybe you have a different skin color or hair color, or you come from a different country, or you're the one girl on a team of boys, or your family practices a different religion, or you were raised by your grandma or a single father or by two moms, and your family looks different than others. These are all wonderful, common things, not worse, not better, just different. Everyone is different in some way. Different is normal. Sometimes it can be scary being the different one in a group because we think people might not welcome us. But you know that God loves everyone exactly as we are. Ooh. Sorry, we're having a problem there. There we go. And God's love is for everyone and in everyone. That's right. You never know who might be in need of shelter, or who might need a glass of water, or who might be nervous to ask to come inside. So welcome them. Welcome everybody. And if you feel new and or different to a group, don't be afraid to say hello. And if anyone looks at you funny, that's their problem, not yours. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, my friends. Mwah. We love you very much, and we will see you next time. Right, guys? Yes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Possibly. All right. Bye-bye.